Hi. Uh, so fingers crossed, this is the last week of flat out lemon. So we've probably only got about 50 left now. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go, um, we've got no pens left, so I'm going to go put some straight out into the field instead of putting them into the barn because we haven't even got enough room in the barn at the moment. So we're going to put these straight out, there's only four of them, and then come back and then go around all the feeding and take another bunch, two bunches probably, out because we are probably, we've probably got 30 in pens. So we need them all gone because take out too much fish. Disgusting. Absolute favourite place. We have our sheep. So I'm going to feed these check they're all okay and then I'll drive on over there and let these out. Not okay. That didn't go to plan. I was going to drop two loads off, drive one off and drop another two so they were like separated out but I'm stuck so I'm gonna have to get these used off before I make too much of a mess and then go again. So I've just pushed, pushed those down the hill a bit so they'll be far enough away from these. I'm sure if someone else did it, they'd do it absolutely fine, no problem. I always seem to mess up somewhere and I'm lying. I don't want to make too much mess because I would get shouted at. to get up here and then we hatch up and hopefully this is downhill so in theory we should be okay <laughs> but it's okay I got the job done and also can we just take a moment my husband has just turned around to me and said this is not a sexy look I thought I looked really sexy absolutely hate sheep like this two lovely lambs and she does not want to mother them you're gonna have oh maybe not actually maybe she oh no not keen, are you? Not keen. I'll suck it on now and then I'll have to put her in the so stocks. Can't get away from them now, can you, madam? I'm loving that. Yeah. He loves it, that one. Giving the tups a bit of hay in this glorious weather. Also, lambing in the snow is not ideal. Adding two children into the mix <laughs> makes life so much harder. down here a double um so we found that um getting them to suck from the mum straight away as soon as we've got them in the pens or straight after birth has been the easiest way for us um i don't know what other people think but the lambs seem to just latch on a lot quicker and they're easier to manip manipulate i guess in a nice way obviously but to get them onto the the teat. So I'm trying to concentrate, I'm not very good at, good at giving birth. Okay, so these have only been born 
15 minutes. Got her into the pen and straight on. Whether that's the right thing to do, I don't know, but I definitely have found it easier myself doing it this way this year. And then I'll suckle this one. And check on the ones that we put out in the field yesterday. We're going to feed them in a minute um, and then we're going to get some more from the shed out. And that is actually sun. Something we haven't seen in a while. <laughs> nice pleasant surprise. It was miserable last night so we was a bit worried about them. But they seem happy, don't they? Oh, that one's got a bit of a sore eye actually. So I'll have to catch that one in a sec and sort it out. And I have an eyelid we need to sort out. Let's try and grab it. Come on. She's a great mum, number 10. Come on. Go on. Go on, that's it. all this up and make sure it's all kept tidy especially as it's rented it needs to be it needs to be kept good Central today. We've had four triplets this morning, which is not ideal. So I'm going to just suckle these. One of them's absolutely tiny, and then, yeah, probably I need to go and suckle the others now as well. So busy on this morning with triplets. food off cabbage pudding and i've had a massive um, pot of soup so we really appreciate all the lovely people that know how tiring it is and that you can't be bothered to cook and bring you such nice goodies so thank you